Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a letter from the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, in which he hailed the depth of bilateral and historic ties between the two countries for more than four decades and the development they witness in a number of fields. He affirmed the commitment of both countries to enhance relations and cooperation, as well as ways to combat the coronavirus pandemic to achieve the common goals and interests of the two friendly countries and people. The President of the Philippines expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and his admiration of His Majesty's support of all expatriate workers and communities in Bahrain, including the Filipino community. He hailed the leadership and vision of His Majesty the King and the continuous developments and reforms achieved by the Kingdom under His Majesty's leadership at all levels, especially with regards to the sponsorship system, stressing the support of the Philippines of these fruitful reforms. The President wished His Majesty the the king lasting good health and happiness and the kingdom and its people for the progress and prosperity. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa will depart tomorrow to Saudi Arabia to head the Bahraini delegation to the 41st GCC summit, which will be held on the 5th of January. The Kingdom affirms its support for the process of cooperation among the GCC countries in the interests of its citizens. His Royal Highness will be accompanied by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict Number no. One of 2021, appointing Luma Abbas Al Mahrous as Director of Environmental Assessment and Control at the Supreme Council for Environment. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also issued Edict Number no. Two of 2021, appointing Muhammad Jafar Ali Al Husseini as Director of the Jafari Endowments. His Royal Highness also issued Edict Number no. Three of 2021, appointing Ahmed Khalil Ibrahim Khairi as Miners Funds and Affairs at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. His Royal Highness also issued Edict No. 4 of 2021, appointing Rashid Salah Abdullah al Jalahma as Director of Human and Financial Resources at the National Oil and Gas Authority. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Khalid bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. The cabinet praised His Majesty the King's patronage of the King Hamad Award for Youth Empowerment to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, which aims to promote and reward youth-led sustainable development initiatives globally. In this regard, the cabinet congratulated the winners of the award in its third edition. The cabinet also praised a high level of participation during the third edition of the government's innovation competition which reflects how the vision and objectives of the competition to stimulate creati creativity and innovation in the public sector is being achieved. To this effect, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister instructed ministries and government agencies to study the inclusion of these ideas in their programs and projects in order to continue to promote innovation across the public sector. The Cabinet then welcomed the 41st Gulf Corporation Council Summit to be hosted in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and wish the summit success. The cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and outlined the following outcomes. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on amending provisions of the decree establishing and organizing the National Space Science Authority, providing for the transfer of the authority's subordination to the Supreme Defense Council. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the exchange of tax reports between relevant countries in line with the Kingdom's commitment to international standards and transparency of tax disclosures. A memorandum from the Ministry of from the Minister of Interior regarding cooperation between the Ministry of Interior and the United States Department of Homeland Security on border security, transportation and the protection of international supply chains between the two countries. A memorandum from the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to two proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. A memorandum from the Executive Committee regarding qualified applicants to the final stage of the government's innovation competition 
Edition Fikra and the progress implementing the winning ideas from the first and second edition of the competition. A memorandum from the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the progress of the Ministry's priorities during the year 2020, which included a summary of the Ministry's prominent achievements around its eight priorities set for the year preceding from the Government Programme 2019 and 2022. His Royal Highness of Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and CEO of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, on his appointment as Special Envoy for Climate Affairs at Rafa Palace. His Royal Highness of Crown Prince and Prime Minister highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to protecting the environment, noting the efforts taken to improve environmental protection across various levels in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness further highlighted the government's uh, progress to ensure an environment that promotes sustainable development to support future generations. In this regard, he emphasized that climate change is a global challenge that requires cooperation and joint responsibility. His Royal Highness congratulated Dr. Bendaina on the Royal Trust bestowed upon him in his appointment as Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, wishing him every success performing his duties in support of the Kingdom's national and international efforts across environmental issues. For his part, Dr. Bendaina expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expressed his honor in the Royal Trust bestowed upon him. He further highlighted His Royal Highness's continued support towards the Kingdom's environmental efforts. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the commander of the Royal Armoured Major General Rashid Abdullah Al Naimi at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness praised the central role played by the Bahrain Defence Forces Royal Armoured in preserving the Kingdom's sovereignty and its achievements for over half a century alongside other units of the BDF. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the continued development and modernization of the BDF in line with its strategy led by His Majesty the King. Major General Rashid then presented His Royal Highness with a commemorative gift marking the 50th anniversary of the establishment of the Royal Armoured. His Royal Highness extended his gratitude and appreciation to all personnel serving in the Royal Armoured, including its founding members, and praised their efficiency and combat readiness. He concluded by wishing all PDF military personnel further development as they continue to contribute to preserving the nation's achievements and ensure its security and and stability. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf visited the water park accompanied by the Ministry's Under Secretary for Municipal Affairs, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and a number of Ministry officials. The Minister affirmed that work has commenced in the water park lakes, highlighting that they are considered one of the most important features of the water park, where 20% of the work has been completed. He added that they began removing the accumulated mud sediments and rocks around the two lakes, building upon room site in coordination with the consultant appointed to prepare the design of the two lakes and the technical proposal related to their sustainability in addition to rehabilitating to rehabilitating natural sites and focusing on the conservation and sustainable use of biological diversity Khalaf also added that two freshwater wells have been established around the lakes Bahrain Raid Extreme made its debut in the Dakar Rally 2021, taking on stage one of the iconic races that would see Sebastian Leib and Nani Roma drive the 623 kilometer from Jeddah to Bisha. Loeb and co-driver Daniel Elena started the stage 10th on the road but suffered a series of uh, punctures early on due to the rocky conditions. The delays contributed to 24 minutes being conceded to the stage winner completing their route to Bisha in 3 hours and 30 minutes and 10 seconds, putting Loeb in 22nd place going into the second day in contrast. Spaniard Nani Roma and French co-driver Alex Winock set out from Jeddah's 15th on the road but completed the stage in 3 hours 50 minutes and 35 seconds finishing in sixth second stage of the Dakar Rally 2021 will see Loeb and Rome, Roma leave Bisha for Wadi Duasir the drivers will face 685 kilometers of driving on a stage that will test the cars and drivers with long stretches of open deserts and sandy tracks 
beginning it's really difficult, you know, it's the first stage with the new co-pilot, but yeah, we, so I make some mistakes in navigation, but it's, it's not really his mistake, it's a, yeah, sometimes I don't understand well, and I, I, I he say me keep right, I keep left, you know, but kilometer to kilometer, I start to feel more, the car, me, and yeah, this car, it's a, uh, Two months ago, it's the first time he touched the sun. And today we are here with the car like that. Yeah, we are happy. To be honest, we are happy. It was a very difficult day for, for us. Um, we did a very bad stage. We were lost uh, after 15 kilometers for 15 minutes or approximately. Then we were in the dust from the car that passed in the front uh, of me, of us. So I had some punctures, three punctures. Uh, and we get lost again. So very, very difficult. And The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,440 with 128 recoveries and 294 registered new cases. 149 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 127 are contacts of active cases and 18 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.